We've investigated dozens of UFO encounters, but few seem to pose an immediate threat to the eyewitnesses. Well, what you're about to see, or really hear, will change that, because something came within feet of taking out a passenger plane. February 21st, 2021. American Airlines Flight 2292 is heading from Cincinnati to Phoenix. Everything seems normal as it cruises at 36,000 feet over northeastern New Mexico until ground control gets this message from the pilot. Have any targets up here? We just had something go right over the top of us that, I hate to say this, looked like a long cylindrical object. It almost looked like a cruise missile type of thing moving really fast that went right over the top of us. Whatever blasts over the top of their aircraft, it's hurtling along at 400 knots. We built this animation based on the pilot's description of the object. Radio scanner Steve Douglas recorded the exchange. Looked like a long cylindrical object. It almost looked like a cruise missile. This is one of those where you know you have recorded something important. Adding to the mystery, a cruise missile-like object should have been detected, but it wasn't. Radar is designed to scan for objects in the sky that may not necessarily have a transponder. So whatever object flew over this aircraft was not giving off a transponder signal, nor was it appearing on radar. Of course, New Mexico is famous for the 1947 Roswell incident. Rich Hoffman thinks Flight 2292's route over New Mexico is key, but not necessarily because of aliens. You've got White Sands Proving Ground. You've got uh, a number of other test sites. Could it be some kind of stealth missile? And if so, shouldn't we all be worried it was so close to a plane? Secret aircraft have flown over New Mexico since the early tests of the U-2 spy plane in 1955. But could this undetectable flying cylinder really be a secret weapon system or a UFO? And what kind of aviation security risk does it pose? Let's ask our experts. Aviation expert Tim McMillan chased down his sources in the federal government, pressing for answers. I reached out to the FBI. They told me that they were aware of it and were looking into it, but that they declined to comment any further. The director of public affairs at New Mexico's White Sands Missile Range said no tests were conducted that day. But can we take that at face value? If it almost looked like a cruise missile, it means that it didn't have any wings. It's possible that there was some kind of military test gone awry. But it's hard to imagine even the worst misfire of a cruise missile sending it into a busy flight corridor at the same altitude as a passenger plane, all in broad daylight. And McMillan thinks it sounds more like another famous object spotted almost 17 years ago. This cylindrical shape is also something that we've heard in other UFO reports. The tic-tac or oval shape was very famously encountered by the Navy pilots in 2004. Missile, drone, or tic-tac, we may never know. The investigation appears to be ongoing. So for now, we're going to call this case a genuine UFO.